Hello? Hello? Is that? Hey, I'm almost at your house. Wait, what? Get the Volvo ready. No, hold, hold up, hold up. We're gonna kill it at the street races tonight. I thought, Guff, I thought I told you to stop calling here. I'm not home, Guff. Don't come up. Yo, Zanny, you ready to kick some ass at the street races tonight? What? Yeah, yeah. Zanny? You already know I am. Look at this. Do you see what it is? Look at all this. I got a radiator, alternator, water pump, timing belt, all this stuff fresh. You see this work? What have you been doing this whole time? All of these were fine. Yo, this is running the way that the Swedish engineers needed it to run. Straight out the factory, super smooth, fresh. You ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready for this. I don't think you're ready. See? What the hell is that? What? It's a race car. Wait. What do you mean it's a race? Why is it shaking this much? Uh, Are the engine mounts bad? Oh, I didn't You said that. the engine was running perfectly. It is running. I just said perfectly. You said we were gonna kill people at the street races today! Today we're working on the Mod Squad Volvo because it feels like the engine is hanging on for dear life. God, it looks so cool though. I can't get over it. It's beautiful. One of the engine mounts has basically disintegrated, as you can see from the violent shaking. So we're gonna rip out the old mounts and replace them with some overnight parts from Sweden. All right, so here are the tools you're gonna need. Um, oh, engine mount. Obviously, we're doing engine mounts. You're gonna need an engine mount and a ratchet, sockets, and you know a torque wrench if you have one. Oh, and an engine load leveler. It goes on the hoist and it makes things a lot easier. And obviously, you need an engine hoist. Uh, you uh, gonna get to work or just gonna keep talking? Let's get started. First, jack up the car. Employ the help of a friend if you don't know what you're doing. Unfortunately for me, my friend is just as clueless. <laughs> and make sure you always use jack stands. <laughs> if the glove don't fit, you must equip. It fits. It fits. It fits. It fits. Next, see how fast you can remove your lugs. Make sure you do what Zane does and round them out as you go. <laughs> you forgot one of them. Oh, set up the engine hoist. It's pretty straightforward. It just has these two legs and they have these little pins here on the bottom. And all you got to do is pull the uh, cotter pin out of this and then, uh, hold on, oh, oh. Like, eh, there. Put that down. And then put that bad boy back in there. Get both legs locked in securely and then check up the hoist. Make sure you don't hit your nice, expensive car. Roll the hoist over your engine bay and adjust the arm so that the hook sits in between the two engine hooks. Make sure you lock the arm in place with a bolt and nut. Thank you. 
We'll be using a load leveler, so mount it onto the hoist and line it up with the two engine hooks. Start hooking in the hoist and adjust the leveler as needed. In our case, the engine hook on the left was way lower than the right because that was the side that our engine mount self-destructed. Where's the 2JZ? We're, gonna, we're taking this out to put a 2JZ in, right? Oh, no, 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 an LS. LS, LS1, LS2, LS3, LT, LT1, LT4, supercharged, LSA. We're just putting this one back in? <laughs> Start lifting the engine. Make sure you go slowly though, as there's a number of things that can get caught or pinched while the engine comes up. Destroyed. It's like two pieces. Yeah, it's completely in two pieces. That's what it should look like. Hit the old engine mount bolts with some penetrating fluid to loosen them up. Hey, uh, hey, Blaster. Yeah, that's yes, the name's com the company name is. Right? Work it like a pro, Blaster Corp. You've seen us work. We work it like pros. Pros who, you know, possibly are going out of business within the next few weeks, filing for Chapter 11. Pros nonetheless. Give us a sponsorship, man. We can use the money. We'll say great things. Toss a coin to see who gets to go under the car and remove the mount. Removing the mount is pretty straightforward, with just one or two nuts holding it in place. In case you're wondering, that is not what an engine mount should look like. Fresh. Look at the difference. Oh my goodness gracious. These delicious, not greasy, uh, uh, taste delicious. Ah, oh, that's gross. You, and, it's, uh, the, it's in your teeth. It's nasty. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I want to sign condone the consumption of motor mass regardless of the material, even though it would be interesting to talk about it into a polymathic community value that for probably does fight. Although eating motor mass is pretty hilarious, it can result in constipation, diarrhea, motion sickness, or potential sudden procurement of a Nissan. Next, we're using a degreaser to clean up the oil from the decades of neglect. The oil that's leaked onto the engine mount caused the rubber mount to swell and fail prematurely. Some people go ahead and install polyurethane mounts to avoid this problem. And also so they can kill it at track days, bruh! You compete, bro? <laughs> hey, Zan. Hey, Zan. Yeah. Hey, Zan. Can we, uh, see all this space here? Yep. Can we, uh, can we put a... <laughs> no? No? Okay. All right. <laughs> Even after degreasing the engine mount bracket, we decided it was still too dirty. So we took it outside for a thorough cleanup. Oh my god. Man, a roly poly in the wild. These animals they are native to this particular region. They're known for their rolling their polling, and their general tendency to be completely useless. They are, in many regards, a completely useless part of our natural ecosystem. Here Zen shows them doing what they do best, wandering around aimlessly, generally just traveling, traveling, until, of course, they meet their demise, either by a car tire the tread of a Nike or Adidas shoe, or perhaps even in a child's mouth. After kicking David Attenborough out of my house, I hosed down the engine mount bracket and then took it inside to reinstall it. This isn't the way they said to do it in the manual. After awkwardly installing the mount to the bracket, Zan went back under to bolt it up. Oh, 
After loosely bolting the mount to the engine, lower the hoist until the bracket lines up on the subframe. What was that? Sounded for like it came from the transmission. Yeah, it came from around here. Maybe we just kind of twisted because the trans is still installed, so we probably kind of Oh, twisted. we probably should have jacked the trans up too. That's fine. So much room for turbo now. So much room. In the next episode, we boost the Volvo. Can I say that, Zan? Sure. You're fronting the, the bill on that one? Uh, I mean, yeah. You guys got like spare turbos laying around? I do actually. Uh, pay for it with that AdSense money, you know? Uh, Sponsored by the Vape Nation. <laughs> and the Stance Nation. Please sponsor us, Stance Nation. We represent you in every video. We even created a pose and dance for your nation. Your sovereign nation. for sponsors don't you see that listen honestly anyone that wants to sponsor us i don't care if you're the most vile company like blood diamonds of nigeria uh, just... i might have a problem with that come actually. on just shoot nope. us a <laughs> no shoot. no i'm probably gonna have to call a veto on that one no uh, look we'll take them down from the inside or some shit like that you know after we collect a couple paychecks wait then we can make a sierra leone remix uh, yeah exactly am i uh, what if, why is it continuously What's happening here? You are not the right way. No, you're loosening it. You serious? Yeah. Oh! Oh yeah, you're loosening the shit out no, of it. No, yeah, now I'm tightening it. Right? Oh yeah. Uh. Zen, out of all the bad decisions you've made in your life, of which there are many. Uh, does that count buying this vehicle? Oh uh, yeah, definitely. No, this, was, this was a turning point in my life. Yeah, it turned down, but. Look at that. Ah, beautiful. Isn't he just gorgeous? Ladies, email us. Zan's available. Uh, yeah. Men, put in your resumes too. Uh. Are we done? Yeah, we're done. Get the hell out from the under the car, man. It's kind of nice down here. There are just no worries down here. Other than a massive power steering wheel. You have to remind me of that. Alright, let's bring it down. Yeah. Do that. Okay, so firing order one, three, four, two. Uh, it starts here, I think. Okay. Yeah, I think. Neither me nor Zen, two very experienced uh, car people with uh, many years on the trades <laughs> and uh, various degrees from universities uh, accredited across the nation, uh, don't know how to put in. I did that though. You did do that though. Got the shroud and uh, everything looks good to go. Yeah. The engine is, as you can see, so this sticker basically used to be like at an angle here. The whole engine used to be kind of more or less down here. And, and now it's actually lifted up. Yeah, like have... actually, I remember this cap was like yeah. that way. Yeah. So now it's all straight. And there's 
full clearance to the oil filter. Right. This used to rest on the broken mount, and now it doesn't. Right. So now we can change the oil without having to have a strong friend, hi Jake, uh, lift an engine. Thanks Jake. The problem with owning a race car is that the battery is always dead. It's because of all that power. Even when the car is off. It's just the sheer, like, you got to feed horses. Same thing with horsepower. It kind of has to feed as it sits, waits for its opportunity. Yeah, do you think a race horse is fed only on race day? No. Well, actually, it might be. Actually, probably. In fact, it probably doesn't even get food until it wins. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe those are just the jockeys. Uh, maybe. Zen, you should be a jockey. You got the jockey physique. Uh, yes. Like athletic, but useless at pretty much every real sport. Yeah, yeah, that, that sounds about right. Uh, no offense to all the jockeys out there. Because, I mean, they probably think it's a real sport. I mean, <laughs> it is a real sport. Sorry, jockeys, again. All right, I'm sorry. Ready? Yeah. Whoa! No, 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 stop! <laughs> what was that? I don't think we connected the engine now. Dude, this thing is moving all over the Dude, place. Dude, the jacks freaking things were moving, man. That's what they were doing. The body was here. The engine went like... <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, man. I think it's fine. <laughs> Can you please tighten the bolt? We did this for educational purposes. Not that we're completely useless at our jobs. Well, Zane is completely useless at his job. Look, we never said that we were good at this stuff. We just do it. Okay? I said I was good at it. Because I am good at it. He's not. Uh, he's terrible at this stuff. I hear you. That sounds like progress. Zane redeemed himself by spotting a missing nut on the transmission mount. Turns out that's what was causing the engine movement, not Zan forgetting to tighten the bolts. Zan's confident he did a good job. And if he's confident, then I'm worried sick. <laughs> Great. You hear that? This is what I work with. There's no trust in our relationship <laughs> because I am a total dick. Hey! All of that is true. Turns out I was right. The engine started right up and ran smoother than ever. With confirmation of our raging success, we bolted the wheels back on the car and put her back on the ground. The legend lives on. Oh yeah, and don't forget to torque your lugs. And that is how you change the motor mounts on your car. It still shakes a little, but... Less, I guess. Yeah, which is okay because it's a race car and that's what we meant for it to be. Yeah, yeah, race car. Well, actually, it's missing one thing to be a race car. Mm, yeah, you know what you're talking about. And that is the Albon Certified Racing Decal. Sticker. Official. Uh, OEM. But uh, I guess we can uh, install that right now. And then uh, hit the streets. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah? All right. Streets. By the way, they're going to be on sale soon. Just wait. Hello. I'd like to take a moment to apologize to my first and quite possibly only fan, Richard Lang. I received your questions and concerns, and I do completely understand why you'd like to see more of me and less of Guff. I hope that my hiatus from this channel hasn't caused any kind of heartache, and if it has, that this video mends any of that. We do appreciate you, and we do know that you are a major part of the Albon family, and I hope you continue to be that. Thank you. What, right, right here? Right, right here. Um, um, uh, 
uh, Mike won the contest. He guessed 708, and the right answer was 707. Yay! Yay!